Okay, so this example six it says solve. Um, so you should by now know what this factors into. So you should be able to quickly tell me the LCD. LCD. It's going to be x plus three, x minus three, because this is the difference of squares. So then we're going to multiply this times x minus three, x plus three. This times x minus three, x plus three, and this times x minus three, x plus three. Okay. So this is going to cancel this. This is going to cancel the x plus three. This is going to cancel the x minus three. So on the left hand side, we get negative 12 equals. 2x minus 6 minus 5x minus 15. Okay. So I'm going to move everything, or I'm going to just solve for x here. So I'm going to simplify the right. Negative 12 equals negative 3x minus 21. Add 21 to both sides, you get 9 equals a negative 3x. So then x equals negative 3. Oh, but right here, x can't be negative 3. So if we if you don't check, see this is what I consider, like if you stop here, it would be wrong. The algebra is correct, but um But it, it's an it doesn't work in the original solution because when you plug in negative three here, it's going to give you a zero in the denominator, so we can't do that. So then this doesn't work because because of this right here. So then the solution is the empty set or no solution. Okay, so suppose that the average daily cost, mm, C bar, I'll write that momentarily, in dollars of manufacturing X bicycles is given by the equation as follows. We'll see momentarily. So then we were asked to determine the number of bicycles. for which the average daily cost will be $240. Okay, so let's fill that. Right. So here we have C bar and we're using the equation c bar equals so we have x squared plus 75x plus 5000 all over x okay 
So x is the number of bicycles. So basically we're solving for x and it says that c bar is 240. So then we get 240 equals x squared plus 75 x plus 5,000 all over x. Any ideas of what to do here? So we actually have a fraction equal to another fraction. So we want to cross multiply. So we get 240 x equals x squared plus 75 x plus 5,000. Set it to zero. So then x squared, and what's 75 minus 240? 140 plus 25, 165. So a negative 165 x plus 5,000 equals zero. Okay. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us 5,000 and add to give us 165. Uh, hesitant about doing it, but let's I'm trying to think if there's a simpler way. So I'm just going to go into the method that we've been doing. So we have 5,000. So then you have 1 and 5,000. And 5,000 is what? 5 times 1,000. 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 5. Okay. So we're looking for the line that adds up to 165. So then we have 2 and what is that, 2,500? Can we do 3? There's no 3, but we can do 4. Mm, 625, okay, so 4. That's a 1, 2, 5, 0, 1250. And you can use your calculators for a lot of this. You don't have to do it by hand. I'm just doing it by hand. One, two, three, four. Can we do five? We can do five. What is that? A thousand? So see, we already went from five thousand to one thousand. So the numbers are dropping rapidly. Uh, five. Can we do six? We can't do six. We can't do seven. We can do eight. Eight and... 4, 5 to the power of 4, I think that's 625. 8, can we do 9? We can't do 9. We can do 10. 10 and what, 500? Can't do 11, can't do 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so we can do 20. So 4 and 5. So 125 times 2, 250. We're almost there. Okay. Can't do 21, 22, 23, 24. Can we, we can do 25. So then that's 25 times 8. So if you have 8 quarters, 200, is that right? Shoot, is that 65 or 75? So 200, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, so let's try 40. I'm going to continue over here. 
So then 40. 40 is 8 times 5, so that's 125. Ooh, finally got it, 165. So it's negative 40 and negative 125. So then uh, I'm going to put the 40 with the 5,000. So negative 125x minus 40x and then bring down the other two, x squared plus 5,000. Okay, so then we do factor by grouping. We can factor out an x. Sorry. So we get x times x minus 125. We can factor out a negative 40. Then we should get x minus 125. Is that right? Yeah. So then we get x minus 125 times x minus 40. Okay, let's go back to our original. So how many bicycles should we produce? Uh, let's see, let's see. Either 40 or 125. Okay, so both of these are good. So either produce 40 or 125 bicycles.